not right. I don't know what's going on. Guess I'll be calling Metro. Failover isn't working because it's the 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 internet is so intermittent with Metro right now. It's like it's on and off, on and off. So failover isn't kicking on because it's not completely out. You know what I'm saying? It's not completely out, so it's just screwing up. Just give this stream a second here and it should catch up. Uh, yeah, it's bizarre. I'm gonna grab me some cereal real quick while we get gear this up to play this. Um, anyway, yeah, if you can hear me, basically, like I was saying, this is um, Summoner's War, the universe. You know, this is their new game. I think some of you remember Summoner's War. Um, collect little monsters, you know, and battle it out with people. It's hugely popular game, massively popular, insanely popular. Um, this is their new one. Completely new. I think it released in April, I think. Uh, so this, if you want to try it, it's completely free to try as usual, you know, it's a mobile game. You know, how that stuff goes. And it's, uh, hold on, I'm just getting some cereal here. To get it, you want to try it. Scan the barcode on my stream arena with your phone. And it's going to pull up a link when you do that. To get it from your app store or whatever you got. Good. What's it going to do? If you can't, if you have trouble scanning it, then just, uh, oopsie daisy. Type exclamation summoners, click that link, and it's gonna pop it up with it right on there. I'm good. I'm good. And you'll be able to uh, scan it that way instead. It's an easier way to do it. Ugh. Look, like dark crocs. No, no, I don't know anything about that. I don't know, but we'll find out. I'll check the store. See what it's see what's up. Fire in front of the uh try attacking him with water to take it uh advantage. Packing him with water.
Do I pick the ability? Countered. I countered. Oh, okay. So fire versus water. Oh, thank you, Cat Monster. Welcome back, brother. I don't know what these are. Some with blue stacks, I think. Find the most important strategy. Use a skill. My opponent is using a skill. Your skill will be used at first as a counter. Defeat the enemy monster with counter. I wait for them to use their ability and then I counter. Yeah, this is mobile only. Summon a spell is a powerful skill that can be used directly by you. That's very powerful. Yeah, as far as I know, this is this is came out in April. I thought I already put my name in here. Okay. I guess I wonder if I count for myself <laughs> with the tracker. the enemy can they just counter me whenever the hell
by him. That's a heal, okay. Because I want to. Why are you a disco turkey? This goes out, man. That was the 60s. Move on! God damn disco. Start a battle with other users. Ranked battles? I'm not ready for ranked battles. <sighs> I guess that's it. That's all I got. Counter me? Who the hell is Kitty? <laughs> counter. I think I countered. I don't know. I don't know what the hell I'm even doing. I don't know what the strategy is here. I just spam my shit. He just countered me and whooped my ass. Okay. Countered? What the frick? Am I, am I beating this person's ass? And they countered me. Shit. I don't even know how I camped with them. I just I just pressed the button and got lucky, I guess. But I beat somebody's ass. That's all I need to know. Front line, back line. 
That's an interesting system. Okay. Current season ends in 16 days. Oh, yeah, dude. Searching for opponent. Almost get their ass kicked. What would you get bought for? Um, so everyone accelerates. Heal the damn bear. Shield. Shield the damn bear. I, I don't know. Okay. Uh, 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 bear. I don't know what the hell I just did, but it was badass. Okay. That's got to be a player. Look at that. Look at that name. Counter sucker. Ah, oh, shit. I still don't understand the cower thing. You, am I just waiting for them to do something first? And then I counter it. Like that? So why, who the frick would ever cast a spell? Counted that. Countered that. Cast something else. Do it. Final attack. Am I still streaming? Oh, he rage quit. Oh, okay. All right. That's what he gets. Thank you up with me. I whipped that ass. Yeah, Dark Stalker. Chain of Despair. What the hell's Chain of Despair? Why did I get two of these? Card available for blue level up. Let's go level up the card. Okay, I see. So you got you got the the thing and you leveled it up that way. The more dude mans you get. Throw that? Um. Transchain Despair. 
and stun on the full front enemy conflicts if the target under chain of spirit is defeated the next front enemy will be granted uh, okay i guess you could cast spells in this i'm in the top 98 percent i'm amazing It means I'm great. I'm great at this game. Look at we're um, we're fighting Volnasa Touch or whatever. <laughs> Counter sucker. Did he steal that? down understand what I'm supposed to be doing. Well, you teach me, Zola. What am I supposed to be doing? Fine now. So what? Do you, do you just spam shit as fast as you can? You can now enter the territory. What territory?
Did I get some new Doom Mans? Oh, I did. I got this thing. Um, what does... Evenly matches the percentage of the HP of all allies and removes harmful effects. Okay. Grants two continuous damage. Oh, wow. Really like the tanks here. Then this would be another healer. Hmm. Summoner, welcome back. Permission was requested uh, by residents while you were away. If you take care of the missions, you can get mystical dust, which can be used to craft rooms. Magic Shop also sells scrolls, so you should stop by when you have time. Mission office. Place monsters required to complete the mission. Tap enemy's weakness. Required for battle. Eighty. All right. Two hours. Start the mission now. Hell no. Want to do fights and stuff? Unless, unless you can do that on top of that. And I can still fight. I'm assuming. Uh, silence does not mean yes. Are you seriously coming in here and just being an asshole? What are you doing? <laughs> this is not how you do streaming on Twitch, brother. <laughs> Take it down, Nacha 2. Relax. <laughs> Holy shit. You don't have my permission. There, you got it? Good? Awesome. Go, go take care of your own channel. Don't worry about me. Stay out of here. Do, do your diligence. Jeez. Yeah, I'm gonna level up the dog. I'm just trying to look looking at all this other stuff first. The shop. Blue crystals and uh, pink crystals. So. Cool. Two, 250. Uh-uh. There's a five crystals from shop now. Yes. The shop. Yep. 
Now let's, uh. Okay. Starter packages. Season pack. I don't know what any of this stuff is gonna get you. I uh, recommended transmog. Oh, this is, uh, cosmetics. What the hell are these? Ancient book. Yeah. You need magic crystals for that too. Uh, I don't know. I guess these are for buying stuff. Um, let's see, territory. Am I still in? All right, so let's craft building to magic thing. Quest. This is pretty good. We'll see what we get. I'll I'm going to play for a little bit and then we'll buy something to see what that's like. Yeah. My mods are great, dude. Like, you, you don't... You, you f just, yeah, don't come back. <laughs> Good luck on your career on Twitch, brother. It's going to work out real, really well for you. I can see that already. Massive success coming your way. You're on your way already. Good luck. this uh oh okay 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 so you get crystals from that or oh, just the pink crystals you get that you get them from that Perfect. Is this no. What is it? Still, it still has the thing that drives me crazy. Win four ranked battles. There's something, it's like it's telling me I can click on something. <laughs> uh, OK. 
Okay. All right. Well, let's do another battle. Can I summon something? I have 40. What does it take? Oh, I see now. That's where you get the big stuff, huh? Now I'm starting to understand. You know what the funny thing is? If he had just been nice about it and like got my attention, it was like, hey, bro, I stream this game a lot. Could I plug my channel? I've been like, sure, go ahead. Yeah, I'll just give you a shout out. Sure, why not? <laughs> it's like, I'm, I don't think I've ever refused anyone. Like, I, I feel entitled. I'm just going to be an asshole about it. I have a right to do this because you didn't answer me in time. Uh, all right. So what do you got to summon? You got to use the, these are what you got to, this, what is that? Um, ancient book. All right. So is that what I, what I, I can buy that? I can buy that. I can throw some monies at it and get me some ancient books. Is that what I can do? Oh boy. Hot little damn. Where them ancient books at? <laughs> <laughs> Legend pack. Is it the crystals? What do you get? 20 mystical books. Uh. Mm, no, I don't want no. I don't. Wait, is it? No, here it is. An ancient book. One. You get one of them. One of them. Oh boy. Can you turn these into something? One per month, ancient book. Oh, I see. Okay, I gotcha. Yeah. Mm hmm. All right, we'll go back to the lobby. Now, this ain't the original Summoner's War. This is uh, this is that new one. It's uh, uh, Lost Centura. Yeah, it's brand new. <sighs> so, it's a sponsored stream. Um. Uh, basically, uh, you know, it's a, it's a free to play game. Uh, it looks like it's, it's PVP focused, but it does have some PVE stuff. Yeah. Uh, the, the, I mean, you can, uh, you can type exclamation summoner. That's the sponsor link. There's also the, the panel down below. Um, you click it. It brings up a barcode the, and the barcode's on stream too. You, you whip out your old phone. You guys have phones. You whip out your old phone. Go to your camera thing and you scan the barcode either on the stream up there in the corner or on the web page, right? You play through the tutorial, which lasts like three minutes. Three minutes max, uh, I think. Um, it will then count toward that tally up there. If you're not a sub and you do that, take a screenshot of like your profile, you know, that you did it. And post that in Discord, uh, Summoner's free sub, and I will gift you a sub as a thank you. Um, this is a rank thing, so the more signups we get, uh, the more my pockets get lined! And we are going to use that <laughs> as, uh, to increase the value of that statue that we are, uh, beginning the poll with Kaga! We're doing the polling for that, and we're going to, uh, increase the value, the, the metric value of that. So like, I think it's like a 1,100 now. It's going to go 1,200, 1,300. The chat gets to force me to spend on a statue from Sideshow, okay? For each of these tiers that we unlock. Now, if we get to the max tier of 500, then chat basically, um... I, I, uh, well, shit, I don't know. We'll do a, uh, we'll do a cookie stream. We tried to do that with Star Trek. We could definitely hit it here. We'll do the cookie stream at 300, right? Now, uh, that's the, that's the goal there. 300 
cooking. I'm gonna I'm gonna cook some. I'm gonna cook you something. I'm gonna cook something in, in in my kitchen. I'll cook. I'll stream it, and I'm gonna cook it live on 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 the 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 the, the interwebs here. A Red Dead Redemption Two playthrough. Um. Uh, I mean that's a that's a long ass game, isn't it? I mean we could do that, I guess. Yeah, it's going. Well, I don't know. We'll let chat decide. I don't know. I'll cook something as long as it's like within my privy to be able to to cook it. But anyway, because I don't have like a, a tip a, a, a typical stove. It's a, a stove. It's a it's a wet bar, so it's got like different utensils. We'll we'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. No, I ain't gonna. I, I'm not gonna cheese it and just do pop tarts or toast. I'm not gonna do you like that. And we'll cook something. Something. I have to cook something, and then I'll have to eat it. No matter, regardless how it turns out. Would Dad be helping cooking? He'll probably laugh at me while we do it. So we hit 300, we do that. At 500, though, uh, basically, chat will fund the, 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 the channel remodel. So that means, you know, I'm going to use that to get the new artwork and the new stuff, uh, new emotes, uh, new alerts, uh, the grand overhaul of the channel that will go out and... and, and hire some nice company to do us up some nice scenes and cool shit so it's uh, pleasing to the eyes and all that how about that that cool because i was gonna i wasn't gonna do that now i was gonna wait till like sometime later in the later in the year to do that but you know how these mobile games go that's the very part Well, I'll see. What the hell? Let's go. So like I said, just scan it with your phone, play through the tutorial. It'll it'll bring up a thing. You want to download this from your app store or Google store, whatever freak you got, and then play through the tutorial, and then whatever you want to do after that is up to you. If you enjoy the game, great. If not, goodbye game. And have fun with it. I think we can make a, a, a guild in this or something. Spaghetti pie is amazing, dude. I'm going to play a couple rounds and then I'm going to throw money and see just how powerful I can become by throwing money. Holy shit. Yeah. You countering all my shit. He countered all my shit. person kicking my ass look at all their heroes they're like well rank five and shit no way i could beat this person not with my piddly garbage This is ridiculous. I can't maintain firepower of this magnitude. <laughs> Shit. Yeah. 
It's like a lasagna, but it's like a and a pie pie can. Pie can. Yeah. Wrecked noob. me oh okay just you got to heal off too I want to count there thing is I don't know what their weakness I don't know how to read that is he fire I don't know Well, he countered me. Or I countered him? I don't freaking know. Somebody countered something. The, uh, the griffin? Yeah. No, I hear you. Well, that, that worked out. Mm-hmm. to the Alliance Arena. This is a place where lords gather to fight against the... If you join an alliance, you can exchange cards with each other and cover insufficient supplies with the Alliance shop. Shall we go to the Alliance office and join one? Pirating. I guess that because it looks like a serpent or something. Okay. Oh. Okay, can't do that. Or just call Alliance Intro. Hi, it's me, Marco. Requirement user level. Uh, yeah. Method free join. Yes. Establish. Establish. Okay. I guess we're we're good to go. <laughs> We got it.
Good. Good. I don't know what that means. Apparently that's important. How do we get those ancient summons? That's what I'd like to see. Well, you see, Billy, when a credit card and a mobile game come together, <laughs> um, I'm thinking uh, uh, I don't actually know you've requested a card well I think I, I buy something to acquire one of those so um let me see. So starter package one probably is decent. Starter package two. Okay. is probably decent for good for a beginning. And then we're going to get crazy. We're going to get crazy chat. Season package. Um, possibly that one ancient book, seven and whatever the hell that stuff is. And then, or we can go crazy. 15 mystical books, one ancient book. That's all you get. Two per given per period. So I could buy, well, I could technically get two of these. This is 40 bucks right here, right? Is there anything that's going to give me? Okay, so that's. I don't know what, what the point of any of this stuff is. At least not yet. All right. I say we get these two. And then we want... I think the goal is to get the epics, right? Because that's how you're going to whoop some serious ass. Right? I'm sure... I'm sure there's ways to get these in the game too, but I don't know where they are. I think we can buy this twice. And buy this twice, two per period. Buy this one once. Yeah. So get that, get this one twice, buy that one. That'll give us three. Five star naturals. You want big naturals. Which ones? Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. You want the, the legend, legend, ancient books. Get the legend packs. Why? I already got the, uh, the, the guild's already up. Bye bye. Yeah, but w what do the legend packs do? Legend card is a guaranteed four or five star. What about the uh, um, ancient deck or ancient this ancient book? What's that for? Oh, they're higher tier. Hey.
All right. Um. No, it's cereal, dude. Uh, all right, fine. Let's see what happens. Let's see what happens. Yeah. Hold on. I think the cards are the heroes. You get mystical books. That's going to give me heroes too. Or something of that nature. And I'll get the starter pack too. I'm just going overkill because, three, you know. Do not have to do what I'm doing. Might as well get that. Uh. <clears throat> I mean, it's raining. Ah, oh, no, it's it's no, it's fine, dude. It's fine. Everything's good. These are starter pack. You only get this once. Which is fine, mighty fine. And then we'll see what we got. Maybe I'll get some like overpowered stuff. Right? And I'll be a god in this game. <laughs> Maybe. Okay. I got that stuff. Uh, and, uh, I think... Hmm. I mean, that's probably enough, right? Let's just collect it all. <laughs> of course I get the water guy. Why wouldn't I? Poseidon. Hey, Gassy. <laughs> oh, you're a new viewer, are you, Gassy? Well, if you type exclamation summoner, you can play this wonderful free-to-play game on your mobile device. You got a phone? On your mobile device. Scan the barcode, and then with your phone thingy, my dopper, or if you got a flip phone, you I probably do it that way too. Whatever you want to do. And you go bring up the, the store thing, then you do the stuff. Play through the tutorial and make a ding happen. Another legendary. Ball. Teddy spell. Cast Teddy spell on the backline enemies. 
would be kind of an interesting strategy. You know, most people are going to put their healers in the back line. So if you could just, just constantly wipe out the back line, it'd be awesome. Oh, hello there. Sophia attacks the forefront enemy five times with each attack having a fixed chance to grant, to grant defense. Forefront enemy grants unrecoverable. Is he kind of a tank? Nah, come on. Oh, come on. Um, Alliance Trading Post. We want, what are we doing here? Supporting each other? Am I giving you my card if I do this? I don't want you to take my cards. All right. Let's see. Uh... Oh, I'm sure I've got like, I could probably summon more stuff probably. Seven. Okay, cool. <laughs> okay, that's that's a booty. I don't think I can level up with Poseidon. of these. Another legendary?
the hell is that? Well, that's food. Food. Bear. Hero, what? He always throws me off because it's purple there. So you're thinking like it's like an epic or something, but his name is grayed out, so I don't think so. Maybe? Oh, he is a per he is an epic. Perna. Oh, this? Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Another epic. Wait, I don't actually own that card? Oh, cool. Holy shit. So you're saying I need one more of these to get this legendary? Give daddy another lit. Oh. <laughs> Hello. This lets you just I could I could still use my coins for this though. Level up my legends. I can't. Guess we do something I can't do. You got these? <laughs> legends with the green bar. I don't... These are my legends right here, dude. These four. These are the legends. These are my epics. These are my rares. And these are my... This is my food. <laughs> probably... I'm probably going to kill these or something. Oh.
<laughs> all good man yeah you know, i was just getting confused like i was doing something wrong i was like what legendaries do i have I don't even know if I'm supposed to be doing that. Or if I should be eating them. I can summon more, yeah. It's a collectible game. You can either be impatient and throw money at it. Or be patient and not throw money at it. Kind of up to you. These kind of games uh, definitely target uh, people with a disposable income who are impatient. Is this all the heroes available by summoning? Hmm. With no income with all the patients, then you could probably achieve have a you know, it's like it's like playing Hearthstone or anything else, you know. Like you're still gonna find matches that you'll win against. And then you'll come across somebody with a better deck than you. And this is how it goes. Uh, I don't really need to level these up. Okay, so... Do I just do this then? Let's just see what happens, I guess. I got another legendary. Um. Is it, are, are they bouncing or breathing? <laughs> hmm. Ganny? Okay. Uh, this guy? He's great. Cool. Let's just keep going. Let's just see what we get. Another epic. A legendary, I mean. Nice. Do it again. Let's roll it. Oh, he's cool. I like that guy. What? No! Oh, I'm so close. I bet if I open up those things, I'll get enough to uh, do uh, another round of 10. But yeah, I will. Cool. Uh, oh, 
Okay, so we leveled up our trading post. I think if I click these and collect all that. <laughs> Is that? Oh, that's that. He so he got that ability. Okay. Jeez, he went from three to a seven. No, no, no. That's his. Wait, I'm confused. So he's a oh, so it's kind of like oh, I see what it's saying. So he's 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 got like three stars, and he's level seven. Okay. So you want to field things with high high numbers that because they, they kick ass more than the, the things with lower numbers, lower tiers, right? That's how that works. Okay. Let's see. I need to get the rest of this stuff. Yeah, are you, are you saying I'm going to pwn me some noobs? Is that it? I'm ready. Legendary Dwarf. I'm going to be able to summon another 10 here in just a second. He gave me all of these crystals. I swear if I'm just short, I'll be so sad. Probably like, let me see. Mm. I knew that guy was a noob. You ain't getting none of these to level five, I can tell you that. We're gonna cannibalize all of them. Come on. Come on. Give daddy a summon. Give daddy a summon. Let's go. Hot damn. Here we go. Give daddy a legendary. A legendary. Daddy want. Daddy got. Yay. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, what the hell is that? Oh. 
Okay. All right. Okay. All right. Now, uh, now we do our thing. Um, no, 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 third out. Uh. All right, it's beside the front line or the, the rear guard. Yeah. I don't know what uh, let me let me look at some of their specs here. Attacks all enemies and grants eternal flame with a fixed chance. Now, is this something you want up front? Let's see attack defense HP 2500. 2700. 3200. 2,800. 2, uh, 2,900. 2,800. Okay, so who are my tanks then? 2,500. What the frick? This is my dude. Oh, uh, wait a minute. Maybe it's based on defense? Who'd you say was a good tank? Uh... Chopper. Flaming Golem guy. This guy? No. Just chopper. Third row. One, two, three. Chopper. Oh, okay. So it's is it based on this? Is it based on a hunter it defense then? Not so much HP, but just pure defense. So one so 165. And the bear was what? Alright, okay. The golem. It's a mix of both. Let's see. What's a standard build? Do you want to go with two tanks? Uh. Ooh, wow. Yeah, okay, so he's a frontline guy. Holy shit. Holy shit. Well... Goodbye, bear.
Um, but who in front? Holy shit. Dude, I don't think I even leveled up my, uh, my spells. Yeah, did not. Is he the best, you think? Let's see, they're all... I only have two level fives. Her and him, I think. Uh... Stop! Yeah, that's the only... She's an epic and he's not, though. That even matters. Let's see. 5,600. Yeah, it goes up a little bit. Well, let's see what happens. Let's get ready to queue. <laughs> It's probably going to match me against somebody of equal strength. Never mind. <laughs> well, I definitely paid for something, didn't I? Holy shit. I think she's a heal. No. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Freaking shield. Invincible. Oh. I want to see what she does. <laughs> well, I don't know what that was. Now the bird.
I think I won. Severely. <laughs> Single mode. Unlock single mode is now open. Single. Oh, single player mode. <laughs> Who's guest today? I wreck this. <laughs> I kill everybody and all that stuff. Okay, let's go to battle. All right. Battle. Sounds like Conan music about to kick on. What the hell? Oh, it puts him to sleep. I don't know what that Teddy curse does. I don't know, so I don't have a healer. Unless she's the healer. Oh yeah, no, she casts Invincible, but I don't have a dedicated healer. Do you have an AoE healing shield? I do? Goddess lady, who? goddess okay and the other one the blonde goddess puts up the shield They killed my dude, man. Oh shit, okay, so it gave me a little heal. Alright. Not a lot though. Ow, 
shit. I don't know what that does. give up uh -oh. God, my last star of legendaries <laughs> well you know you could get a roster of legendaries too if uh I'll do that later if you just go to the, the go to, you go to the shop here, you see, and uh Yeah yeah. What's this? I don't recommend doing that by <laughs> If you put like uh, you know, like I said, it's only for like people that uh don't have patience you know like you can get this stuff i'm sure i mean you, you you've already seen me do it like you could you collect those coins and then eventually you come over here and you just you buy them on this stuff you know these coins right here i could just get one right now if i wanted to you are gonna you, you are gonna get stuff Chopper. And he's really good. I like him. Didn't I get a legendary on my first night? Moji? Oh, no, wait. I don't even have legendaries. No, wait. Hold on. I don't think so. No, I've been fo I was focusing on KL or whatever his name is. No, no, I have legendaries. I No, no I don't. Shit. Now you can make me freaking look. Yeah, I'm, I mean, I've, I've taken a little break from, from Raid, but, uh, no, I'll probably be back in it. He has good defense too. Look at him. Uh... The, um... Nope. I have no legendaries. None. Sir Moji. I have none. Zero. Never never got one. <laughs> and I and I spent money. <laughs> Still it hasn't stopped me from kicking ass though. I'm starting to understand how these this game works and how the strategies play out, so. Anyway, yeah, it's a sponsored stream. Uh, this game is new. It came out in April. It's in the uh, Summoner's War universe. So as you can see, you collect heroes. You 
go into battles eight versus eight. It's a uh, PVP. I'm fighting someone in South Korea, so I'm definitely gonna get my ass kicked. No, I'm not. I think I, I think I'm gonna overpower them. Never, maybe not. Shit. This is gonna be a tough fight, chat. Look at this dude countering me. Oh my gosh. This guy's kicking my ass. Superior strategy. Oh my gosh. Jeez, this guy is a master. Gosh, not like this. <sighs> Wait. What? How did I win? The Teddy Bomb? Holy crap. I I YOLO'd myself into this. TV.
Oh, that's kind of cool that you can watch other people's games. That's actually kind of neat. World Tournament. That's the term is the best summoner in the world. Five times you will be eliminated. Summoner's top right here will be qualified to advance the competition. Okay. That'd be cool. Let's go! Hey. You guys suspicious? <laughs> Yeah, just uh, use your phone and you scan that or you scan the uh, uh, exclamation summoners. It'll open a web page and you can scan that instead. And that's how that'll count. If you're not a sub, just post in um, Discord at summoners free sub and I will gift you a sub as a thank you. Boom. Shielded. Oh no! What the frick? And they did that. I was trying to save that man. Boom. Bear bomb. No. Go to sleep. Jeez, that oblivion. Holy shit. Teddy bomb. Teddy bomb. <laughs> Shielded. You now hurt my units now. Characters weren't given to me, Disco. They haven't, they haven't given me anything. I mean, except for the sponsorship. <laughs> I like the bear bomb. That's nice. Yeah, I bought, I bought the freaking uh, thingies. I bought uh, uh, I bought that package, that package, this package, which I think you get anyway. Um, and then I bought the the two. Beginner packs. And then you come here and you go to the, uh, I did this. I spent all my, my coins on this. And they didn't do anything to my account because I didn't have an account until I started the stream. So they have no idea what my account was. They didn't even ask.
I understand, Kip. I wouldn't if if I was getting a boost from this, I would tell you. I, there's literally no reason to lie. <laughs> I gain nothing from this, and 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 quite frankly, have more to lose uh, than 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 to gain. Because that's some FCC FCC shit that I, I'd have to disclose. Yeah. Upgrade the tanks. I can't until let's take wait a minute, let's see what this is. Oh what no. No, no. I hate it when they open up like something like that. I always think it's gonna be like some weird shit. Yeah, but anyone can spend money on it, Disco. It's like, uh, it's like Hearthstone, you know? Like, somebody could just whip out a card and buy a whole bunch of card packs and you don't know what the hell they're gonna get. the nature of the beast you know magic the gathering kind of stuff you sit down to play a game magic the gathering the other person's got a better deck than you <clears throat> yeah Sure, Disco, I understand that. You know, as I'm saying, like, if you ain't into it, you ain't into it. You know? It's just like any, any, anything else out there. Don't play it. I'm not gonna... Sh I, I've just been playing a lot of mobile games, and it's just something that... I just do like laying in bed or going somewhere, or whatever. It's just I have fun with some of them. That's all it is. Never will happen, Bill. Drop the bear. Oh man, they got a level eight version of that. Yeah, okay, reverse Teddy. Nice. You can't really It's like anything else You can't Eventually they're gonna start matchmaking me up Against people that are gonna kick my ass It's just like any Like like playing League of Legends Like if uh, like a pro player plays League of Legends And they start a new account And they just 
wreck every freaking person that they run into, right? They just dominate until they get up to a certain tier and then they start meeting their their level of people. Yeah. Just like in Hearthstone and other stuff like that. So you like, I spent like a ten, dude. You know how much money I spent on Hearthstone? <laughs> I was literally there at the beginning. I was so addicted to Hearthstone. I was just churning out hundred dollars, hundred dollars, hundred dollars, getting all the cards and all the decks, you know, to try to get all the coolest shit. And I just kept playing. I was having more fun and everything. And it got me to a point in the, in the game where I was just like, okay, now I'll never win again. sponsorship for what <laughs> yeah more Ragnarok stuff right You gonna sponsor me with some turkey? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, Bill. I mean, it's, you know, like, it's, it, it is what it is. You know, like, the mobile market is massive. It's freaking huge. It's not gonna do anything to uh, the rest of gaming. It doesn't do any. It doesn't really affect that. It's its own thing. I don't think that's a problem at all. Mobile gaming intrigues me too. I've been doing a lot more uh, in the last few years. Yeah, I still love my Nintendo Switch. <laughs> Sleep. Now for the bomb. <laughs> what the hell was that? Shouldn't that guy be like the first tank? I feel like he should. That means that it's a, an epic, right? That's a, or a legendary, I think. What is the color? What do the colors mean? Maybe not. Counter with a bomb. Yeah, it's it's sort of not I mean it's it's a different game from Summoner's War people. I mean that's true, Bill, but that's a more underlining completely different situation. I mean we could, we could go into that, but I mean I'll talk to you. I I'll talk to all the chat in just a second. Like I have my own thoughts about that stuff. <laughs> How does this, uh, um, can you just craft a shop? Do I have this stuff? Oh, I do. How does this work? Ah, oh, hell. 
Are these, um, yeah, so you put those on my tanks. Oh, well, he's not my best tank. Let's put it on my best tank. He's supposed to be the best. Power up, power up. No runes. Oh. Chant? No. All right. They get some kind of bonus for having all this effect, all this uh, queued up. I don't see anything. You have to scan the barcode above me or type exclamation summoners and scan that barcode with your phone. It pops it up and then you download it, play through the tutorial in like three minutes and then that's it. I see the set bonus of each room. Oh, so I screwed up. I see. Okay. She's a tank too, right? Yeah. Cool. So you can do a little customization on them too, huh? I did for an hour disco and then I wanted to show chat what it would be like to pay for it. So they have an understanding of how it works. Anyway, that was uh timing. <laughs> I think uh blue stacks crashed. Anyway, it's over. I'm done with it. It's over anyway. Yeah, I think you I think you came in late disco or something. You weren't paying attention. I told chat that we were going to play it for the first hour just to show how it basically is and then I was going to spend money to see how pay to win it can be. I don't hide shit. I'll tell you anything you want to know. You spend money in this, you're going to get some good shit. Obviously, I just proved that. <laughs> You will be at a disadvantage to people who do do that. That's the way that shit just works. No different than the days of Ga Magic the Gathering or Pokemon card games, whatever the frick. That's, uh, that shit's been around long before mobile games ever came around. But do I think that mobile games are affecting games like uh, Assassin's Creed where you spend real money? No. It will, it, it is not. That has nothing to do with it. Anybody that tells you that it is, is full of shit. The reason they are doing that in those $60 games is because the cost of making the video games is not staying in line with the $60 price tag. 
this is well known and you can look this shit up all you all over the place you cannot it's uh, inflation it's real right we all know inflation hell that's the scare right now inflation's coming oh no inflation you know price of bread like, 10 years ago is different than it is today right games are not have not gone up in price because they have a, they have a, a fear of backlash from the gaming community which will happen you know you, you know and we're gamers we always flip out <laughs> that's what we do so my char oh, you're charging me a dollar 99 for some blood ah, you you bastards you bastards you, you, you're stealing all, all you're greedy you know you care about is greed that's all you want is money well yeah that's all they want is money <laughs> Dude, they're making a product they want to make money but if you look at like graphics cards and 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 the demand better grab great gamers want better graphics more detail huger open worlds keep pushing the bar raise it higher i want to see the dimples in their face i want master chief's face to reflect off his eyeballs this is how it is man i'm the same way i love that shit but $60 games back then are not $60 games today. And so they're trying to find a way to make money without raising that price up onto the $60 games. I don't, that, that shit is not going to last. If you think it is, you're living in a fantasy world. It's not going to last. I don't know when that dam is going to break, but it's going to break at some point. There's just no way that this shit is going to stay like this. <laughs> They're either going to raise the price of games or you, you might see some crazy shit. Um, on what they're on, what they do for in-game stuff right now. They're focused on cosmetic stuff. So we'll see how that goes or like pay to pay for convenience. You know, like somebody like, uh, Somebody works a, a job, you know, and they only get like a couple hours to game every night, right? Before they have to go to bed or whatever, you know, they could pay that money, that 10, that $10 or whatever to get more XP in their single player game or whatever. That's, that's kind of the stuff that Ubisoft is kind of banking on. They're, they're, they're tapping into those people, not, not the typical gamer who could sit here and play for like 10 hours a day, you know? It's just gonna it's gonna come down to what we tolerate and what we don't tolerate. I tolerate that. I understand why they do that. If they want to pay, you know, for cos special cosmetics or whatever the frick, I get it. A little pricey sometimes on some of that shit. Like a twenty dollar skin is a little ridiculous. I think they would sell more if they made them like five bucks or something like that. You know, I might I might drop five bucks for an interesting skin. $20? I ain't doing that. Well, yeah. I mean, of course. I mean, it depends. Like, I mean, some some of those uh, old two, those games took a long time to make, even back then. It all depends on what you're doing. I, it's absolutely i mean and i and i i definitely i think that gamers themselves will probably lose their shit over that but um it's only a matter of time before that damn breaks man it's gonna happen <clears throat> yeah I, I see i remember when games were 50 bucks <laughs> and i remember when the price went up to 60 and people lost their shit then but you didn't have, you didn't have like the social media stuff, you know, like the Twitter and the Facebook, you know, didn't have that. I don't remember that being a thing when they, when they, when they upgraded it to $60. I don't remember that. So like, they're definitely afraid of gamer backlash, but, um, So they're trying to find ways to supplement their incomes on their games. Yeah, we'll see. But, uh, but, uh, but in hindsight, you know, some companies do just fine. 
because they sell these games for 60 bucks and then they sell like 2 million copies and you can't bat an eye at that you can't be a company and then co you know complain about not making money when you sell that many units you know what i'm saying like <laughs> so like even though i understand there's also the other side of the shoe where like they're definitely selling more games than they did back then you know it's not it's not clear cut it's definitely a kind of gray area some companies do better than others you know like call of duty does well every freaking year so they have no business you know doing shit like that they don't need to because they sell an insane amount of copies well i'm sorry to say this but we got a problem as gamers we got a big problem all right this is this is this is a a, a flaw in us and you know we buy these games when they're broke as shit and then we complain about it and you know what the lesson is to the dev and not the devs not the devs it's never the devs it's never them they want they put their heart and soul into making a game don't ever yell at them management 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 it's always them <laughs> the lesson is is that we can sell you a, we don't need to like if the game is decently good we can go ahead and sell that to you you'll play it you'll complain but we still get to keep our profits and we can fix it as we go <clears throat> And it's absolutely a shame on them scenario. 100%. 100%. But gosh, damn it. We fall. You, We do it every time, man. We do it every time. And it's like, oh. Every time. I'm not really a game reviewer, so it's difficult for me to like... That's why you should watch streams and look at reviews because your dollar matters and you shouldn't rush to stuff you know you should wait to make sure that it's something that you want to get i know what it was like not having a penny and like watching as much content as i could to see if i wanted to spend that money for this game and see how long it would last that's why i got it so heavy into strategy games because my dollar amount would stretch real far on a strategy game Whereas a, a single player story game, I beat that in 20 hours. I never touched a damn thing again. I take it to GameStop and get five bucks for it. I don't know. I think, uh, I mean, but this has got a lot of pride, dude. I think Elder Scrolls six is going to be just fine. I think Bethesda has a, 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 a hatred <laughs> about not making money off mods, which I get, I get. They, they, I mean, imagine, imagine making something like anybody in chat, imagine making something and then you just see that the, that thing you made 20 years ago is still popular because of a completely different thing that's happening to it. And you're like, ah. Imagine all the money I could have made from that. <laughs> it's, no, there's no, it, it's, it's irrational. I agree. Because they're making money from the sales of Skyrim, right? And, it, and it's keeping their company. I mean, the mods are doing amazing to keep Skyrim and all their games afloat and everything. So, yeah. Well, don't watch those streamers then, Disco. I've done uh, sponsors things for uh, for shitty games. Most of the time, it's like... They're just paying for the time for me to just play the game. They're not paying me for my opinion. If the game is garbage, I'll tell you it's garbage. <laughs> 
That's always in every contract. I will never spin a game positively if it's not. But at the same time, I I constantly tell people, don't. I'm not a game reviewer. I can't articulate what I like. I'm not good like that. You know, if it's fun, me me have fun. Yay. Me no have fun. No. That's, I'm not good at it. I tried to be a game reviewer. I suck. I got no business doing it. I freaking love Days Gone, and that game got shit to hell. So well, I don't know what to tell you. Yeah, watch Angry Joe or, you know, all those other guys that are really, really good at that shit. I can't break shit down for you. Yeah. Co Carnage is better at that stuff than I am. He knows how to break stuff down. I, I, I don't know how to do it. Yeah, I liked, I liked Biomutant, and that was, that was average. I mean, I'll probably play this, uh, Lost Centura. I don't know how long I'd play it. I'll play, I'll screw around with it. Have some fun with chat with it. But, uh, you know, to me, it, it feels like, just like Hearthstone, you know. Buy the stuff and you'll, you know, you'll get a big boost at the beginning to kick ass. But that, that's going to come to a hit. <laughs> it's going to stop. You know, I'm eventually going to run into people that are my level and they're going to wreck me. Nah, I haven't seen a special ending for days gone. I'll work at it. <sighs> yeah, it's absolutely. I mean, that's kind of how like the pay to win. I don't know. I, in matchmaking games like this. It doesn't seem to help you. I can understand pay to win in like Star Trek Fleet Command. Because you could dump a lot of money into your starship stuff. And build your shit up to make it like really, really powerful. So that you can, you could do, you could branch out and attack other, other players. I can see that, because I don't think that's matchmaking, is it? You just do, you just grab whoever you want. So what if I did an Immortal, Diablo Immortal sponsorship? Hell yeah, I would do an Im Diablo, Diablo Immortal sponsorship. I'll take their money. <laughs> I'll play it on stream and laugh about it with chat. Don't you guys got phones? Hell, I was dropping those, those jokes in here all night. Now, I don't, I don't know about that, Grazer. <clears throat> I think sometimes you may have just, you might overreact a little bit. <laughs> There's still goofy ass little games. It's not like we're over here. Hey, y'all should like, you know, click that link and watch how puppies get murdered. <laughs> it's still not, it's, it's just quirky ass little games. Yeah, the Blizzard ain't gonna sponsor nothing. Yeah, wasting, but you know, in a matchmaking game, wouldn't you eventually like if they have a if it's a good matchmaking thing, you're eventually gonna be matched up with people of equal strength to you. Adventure point, all that money you just dropped into it doesn't mean shit. Yeah, I've reviewed sponsorship deals in the past because of ethics, yeah. I've, I had a sponsor that wanted me to... Uh, um, <sighs> they wanted me to do uh, their game, and they wanted to give me a boosted account and then not tell you that I had a boosted account.
and I'm like, okay, they know I don't play it. <laughs> They know I don't play it, so they're gonna know that this is a boosted account. Yeah, but don't 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 uh, don't tell them about that. I was like, what? Why? I, I I walked away from that one. I mean, yeah, sir, mode that would be shitty. Like I said, it depends on how good the matchmaking thing is. <clears throat> I will never lie to my chat. There is I I've looked I had a game store. I saw my dream crushed before my eyes. I will never risk this shit for anything that they throw at me. Never do that. I tell you guys way too much shit about myself. <laughs> No, I, to this day, I've never, um, for sponsor stuff? No, I've never lied to you, chat. Not anything. If I can't talk about something, I'll tell you it's an NDA thing I can't talk about. Like, I can't talk about what I'm paid. That's NDA stuff. I can't tell you that. I disagree. I, I, I've butt heads with chat many a times, and I and I took my knocks for it on <laughs> on Reddit posts. But whatever the frick, dude. I'm I still I don't I'm not um, I don't march in a in in order when I'm supposed to. If I disagree with you, I'm not gonna just agree with you just because I want to go with the 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 majority of people. In, in something, you know? I've definitely butt heads with chat, but I've never banned anyone for disagreeing with me. I've only banned people when they get nasty and they start throwing out insults and shit. That's the only time I've banned somebody, but I've never banned anyone for disagreeing with me. Uh, uh. Yeah, of course I would, Graza. <laughs> yeah. I mean, buying a house for is a, is a, is a massive ordeal. So we did sell the other house pretty quick. Well, I mean, technically that's my dad's money. It ain't mine. <sighs> right? Yeah. <laughs> I, I, I've, uh, and that's not like I disagree with Chad about Kathleen Kennedy. You know, you could be right. I'm not saying you're wrong. I'm just saying, like, I feel it's weird that you blame her for everything bad about Star Wars and then don't give her any praise for anything good about the Star Wars stuff. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's all. That's all I'm saying. I just think it's weird. You act like she's some dumbass who just arrived yesterday and doesn't know what she's doing. The lady's been making amazing or producing amazing movies forever. Forever. She's not new to the scene. She's been involved in so many of classics. And then and, and, and people act like this is the first time they've ever she's at oh she's brand new. She just showed up. She ruined with Star Wars. You know, like <laughs> <laughs> Well, she ruined the trilogy, I agree. But then I feel like she's redeemed herself with Mandalorian and all the shit she's done after that. But that's just me. That's another thing that I butt heads with people. Butt heads with Epic Game Store, too. I just don't agree with the circle jerk of hate Epic. I just think it's, I don't know, it's just weird. And I agree. And I was like, I was saying this shit before I ever got partnered with them. Before this ever happened, I said that shit. People acting like, well, he's only saying that because he got partnered. <laughs> <laughs> I don't care if you're the most anti-epic person in this chat. 
them their existence is good for you if they ever get to the point where steam has to lift their eyebrows and go oh shit i mean you're already seeing some good shit coming from steam they're already doing a lot more free games now that's good i hope they go back to doing their cool deals and everything that they used to do <clears throat> remember the steam deals remember the steam deals holy shit they don't have to do that anymore i love the lightning flash deals and all that stuff steam gave a free game they gave out the uh, company of heroes or i don't know if it was steam itself or if it was somebody else but i think it was steam company of heroes and that other thing uh in little infernos Man, I don't care. You can hate Epic. I'm not gonna. Not, I'm not gonna ban you for disagreeing with me. You can. I'm just saying, like, at the end of the day, man, it's good that Epic is trying to compete against Steam. We all love Steam. I love Steam. Get the game wherever you want. But competition is always good. It's always good. Imagine if we didn't have Xbox or Nintendo. We would just have Sony, and Sony would just own your ass. Oh, those PlayStations would cost a thousand bucks. Thousand the bucks. Good luck getting the get the system, kid. Imagine that. Yeah, I mean that was that Reddit post that one guy said, ah. Oh, I hate Epic so much that I claim a game. I, I claim the game from the Epic store so they have to pay for it. And then I never play the game. I don't do anything with it. I just let it rot on, on, that, on, that, on their store. I'm like, you go to that much effort, bro? Like, what the frick? Imagine if that dude planted a tree once a week. <laughs> That's some unhealthy shit. <laughs> I don't know what to tell you if you're doing that shit. That's some... Uh, gosh, damn. Okay. Well, how would you compete against Steam? That's what I want to know, Nitrogen. Because I, I don't know how you do it. Again, this ain't, I'm not attacking you. I'm, I'm like legit curious. How would you take on Steam, the biggest game store in the world? How would you do it? Have lower prices than Steam. Doesn't work. Doesn't work. Been, been, was attempted, failed. Uh, people act like they care about the UI. They, they don't. They don't. That's great. I mean, there's a lot of there's a lot of political shit about that, right? For like rest regional pricing. I know Epic's trying to do that. Everyone's different about what they like and what they don't like about it. But like. Yeah, I think like a lot of people bring up they they always throw out anti-consumer when it comes to Epic because they think Epic is uh, forcing you to come to their store to buy a game, right? I mean, you know, besides the obvious of the capitalism and shit, um, the PlayStation exclusive, Xbox exclusives, right? This, Epic's being aggressive about it. Absolutely. Yeah. You'd be surprised, Nitrogen, how many people don't. They, look. This isn't me knocking Steam. This is me saying how brilliant Steam is. They created an environment, right? Where we as gamers want everything to be on Steam. Because all of our achievements are there. All our friends lists are there. Um, the marketplace is there. We got money invested in it now. We got games invested with money and stuff. We have all this stuff. They, they, they. They, they made something that keeps you there.
you could make the argument that that's anti-consumer. You can't transfer your shit over to other places. It's there, only there. You know, it's like anybody else. It's like, I, I have an iPhone. I can't really go to Android. I can't go to Android because all my purchases are on iPhone. Yeah. It's a weird hate. I don't get it either. It's a, it's a very bizarre hate. I, I just... Most of the time when I've had people, like, explain to me their anger, I've, I've had a rational conversation with them. For, um, they eventually agree with me. And then we loop back around to the beginning of the conversation of just, I just don't like Epic. <laughs> I think ultimately what everyone, like, constantly comes back to is Epic's launcher is not great. They're definitely making strides to make that better. And they do a lot of cool shit. And like, you know, what they did with recently with that art store. Yeah. Well, GOG tried to do it too, BZ. You know, GOG tried to do that. They, they did the uh, buy the game from us instead of Steam. And we're going to give you another game on top of it. Of, of, of the same. Like, if you're buying an RPG, buy it from us. Right? And then they were going to give you another RPG of, of the same genre. Of, of good price, too. Not like a cheap-ass thing from 90s. They were giving you a good game. And they pushed that hard. Couldn't compete with Steam. Couldn't do it. I love GOG, man. They're great. They couldn't compete. How can you? How can you take on the biggest store? How do you do it? The only way from a business standpoint is to get exclusives so that people either have to come to your store to get it and then you entice people with like hey build a game library with us with a bunch of free games so that you have games to come and, and play on our platform i don't know how else you can compete at this point i have no idea yeah exactly mo emoji yeah I think Epic realizes that no matter what they do with their store, Solitary, they're not going to be able to compete against Epic's workshop. Epic's, uh, or I'm sorry, Steam's workshop, Steam's uh, marketplace. You know, like, that shit's been there for years. They have a massive database. And I don't think just Epic turning that stuff on tomorrow is going to change any minds. Yeah, but that's that's one thing I, I, I so that's one thing I don't get into the you know I march to the to the line like you know I don't have a problem and like you know I I don't think I've have I ever been like a I don't think I've ever done anything in, to anybody like this people in chat I butt heads with all the time about this they're still here <laughs> I don't ban anybody I don't silence people I don't care. I'm like, I guess because I have a different opinion about Epic that, you know, somebody had to make a Reddit post about it. <laughs> okay, thanks for that, I guess. I got some free advertisement from that. Uh, uh, no, I didn't, I didn't get that. No, the Battlefield stuff? Uh, I, I, that looks freaking awesome, though. No, well, Skullhead, you got to keep in mind, business is business. You're talking about Epic Game Store, dude. Like, Epic Epic is a massive company. They're big enough to take on Apple. They're big enough to take on Apple, dude. Like, they have, they have crazy money. So, you can't look at this uh, from, from a business of that size and see them throwing money at free games. And, and if that's... Because that, all that does is tell you what they've lost in, in, in income. You have no idea about their profits from, like, the Unreal Engine, you know, and all the other shit. It, this is a big machine. 
And so I saw people that were like harping on this. Look how much money they've lost. But they don't, you don't know the inner workings of, of a ma mega conglomerate like that. That could be nothing. They could be laughing at that money that they lost. <laughs> Look, we shed 300 million down the drain. Who gives a shit? Let's move on. They don't care. It's nothing. Exactly, Slob there. That's what I'm saying. You're there. They, Steam's got you. <laughs> You're not going anywhere. Steam ain't got to worry about you. They got you. But my hope is, is that if Epic continues to grow and become a serious competitor to Steam, then Steam's going to start worrying about you, Solidarity, Jordan, or however you say your name. You know what I'm saying? Like, that, that benefits you, brother. You know what I mean? Like, then, then Steam's going to start caring about you and making sure that you stay put. And that's what I want to happen. Well, hypothetically is what I'm saying. Not, not, I'm not talking about you specifically. I'm just saying like, you know, that's, that would be the good, that would be a good outcome where people are like, have, you have Epic and you have Steam to choose between. What, now, I don't know, because I know Epic is, I mean, plus Epic gets blamed for shit they don't even do. Like when the Hood thing happened and I couldn't connect with the boys to play with Hood, remember that? People were like, oh, look, Epic's blocking people from playing with Steam. They, didn't, they weren't doing that. The dev even came out and said they didn't do it. They said it was on their end. It was an issue on their end. But nobody wanted to take the moment and see if that was the problem. Because if Epic is trying to compete with Steam, why would they block you from playing with Steam users? What? What? <laughs> benefit do they get from that they're the small platform competing against a giant why would they ever do that but does that anybody want to look into that frick no it let's get on the shit on epic wagon instead let's just why think about it why do critical thinking when we could just shit on them So they made a big thing about that on the Reddit post about it. Like, I, he, he made some bullshit thing that it, and he blamed the devs. I, I didn't blame the devs. The devs blamed themselves. <laughs> yeah, same thing with the snow runner. People had... People had issues connecting to their friends on Steam on SnowRunner. And everybody said it was it's epic. It's their freaking game. You know, it's epic servers is what it, epic's like a shit. And they're bad. And yet there it was on Steam. People having connection issues. Epic's not perfect. But they certainly got a lot of bullshit being flung in their way. And that... That, that annoys me. <laughs> like, I get. Just stick to the actual facts. Don't cling to bullshit. And the other thing I butt heads with chat. So let, what is that? That's mobile gaming. Because mobile gaming's here to stay. I, it ain't going to. It's, it's just getting bigger. But it's not going to affect our games. It's its own thing. It's its own beast. I'm not worried about that in the slightest. Mobile games, I like them. Some of them. They're definitely pay to win as shit. But there's, there can be fun found in those too. I, st I, still, I still like Raid Shadow Legends. I still like it. Yeah. So that. I butt heads with Epic about Epic Games. I butt heads about Star Citizen. <laughs> Star Citizen. The other one I butt heads with like, you know, like it's. It's the gaming culture, right? Like, gaming culture right now is... We hate Star Citizen. Why? I don't know why. It's been in development for a long time. Okay. So I have a lot of games. <laughs> well, it's a scam. It's vaporware. You mean it's vaporware that I'm actively playing right now? Yeah. <laughs> so that's the other one.
<laughs> yeah. Oh, no, and Kathleen Kennedy. Yeah, I guess I, I butt heads with chat on that. I guess that's four things, right? So mobile gaming, Kathleen Kennedy, <laughs> Epic Games, and Star Citizen. And that's it. It's the only time I ever butt heads with chat. Other than that, I think we all agree on the same shit 99% of the time. <clears throat> I hate pineapples on there. What is my Kathleen Kennedy stance? <laughs> my, my stance on her is she screwed up the trilogy. And I blame her for that. But then she also turned around and gave me Rogue One, Mandalorian, and all this crazy series that are currently getting ready to come out. And I, I, I draw problems with people when they say Kathleen Kennedy is this terrible person and she ruined Star Wars. And then I'm like, well, what about the Mandalorian? Well, we love the Mandalorian, but she didn't do anything about that. She had no involvement in that. And what's your facts on that? Well, I heard it on a YouTube channel. All right, yeah, that I... Maybe you're right. I don't know. Maybe you're right. I don't uh, know, but... <clears throat> and, she, and she's definitely said some stupid shit. Like, she shouldn't have said that dumb thing about... Uh, not having source material to go by. I think I think that was stupid. <coughs> I think she spoke out of her ass on that one, but I don't know. You gotta keep it. She, she's also not somebody that just showed up either. She's been working in movies and been producers and and on some classic movies. Classic movies, dude. Shit that we grew up watching, man. You know what I mean? Uh, I don't know. I, dude, it's an insane. She's been in everything, dude. Um, let's see. Executive producer. You ready for this? Kathleen Kennedy, executive producer. This is her main gig, right? She's an executive producer. That's... That's not a, that's not, that's not the role you give to somebody that just farted as they walked by the lot. That's somebody who's actively doing shit, okay? And in deeply involved. <clears throat> she does a lot of shit. Executive producers do a lot. Gremlins, young Sherlock Holmes, which was a creepy scene with the food. I hated that scene. Back to the Future. The Goonies. Fandango. American and American Tale. Batteries not included. Who framed Roger Rabbit? Back to the Future 2. Dad. Tummy Trouble. Gremlins 2. Roller Coaster Rabbit. Back to the Future 3. Joe versus the Volcano. An American Tale. Fireful Goes West. Cape Fear. A Brief History in Time. A Wish for Wings at Work. Noise Off. Schindler's List. We're Back. A Dinosaur Star. Dangerous Woman. A Far Off Place. Trail mix up the Flintstones. <clears throat> I didn't mind the Flintstones. Bounto, the best of Roger Rabbit, the Lost World, Jurassic Park, <clears throat> Olympic Glorious Sports Page Signs, The Young Black Stallion, Perskalidis, Indiana Jones and the Kingdom of the Lost Skull. Okay, she screwed that one up. <laughs> Last Airbender. I liked that movie, but apparently that was bad too. Um, the secret world of whatever the frick that is, the BFG and the girl on the train. So, <clears throat> like I said, Kathleen Kennedy is just somebody that just showed up and did your and, and, and screwed over your trilogy and then was like, ha ha ha, screw you, nerds. She's been around for a long time doing lots of movies. Lost Skull was crap as it was being written. Yeah, I know it was terrible. They're going to do another one, too. <laughs> and that's just her as executive producer. Then she, there's then there's producer. Uh, associate producer. Uh, Co-executive producer. You know, there's, she's she's been around, dude. Yeah. 
Yeah. Yeah, she was producer for all that stuff. Yeah. She was producer for Lincoln. That was a freaking kick-ass movie. Uh, uh, producer for War Horse. And from Munich, too. Damn. That's what I'm saying. Like, <laughs> that's that's what would irritate me, right? Is like, wait, the way it feels, in my opinion, right? Is that when it comes to Kathleen Kennedy, it's like, I just gave you this massive list that she was the executive producer on, right? And then I, and then <clears throat> it'll, I'll say Indiana Jones and the Keanu with Crystal Skull, and people would say, Kathleen Kennedy ruined that movie. It's all her fault. And then I'm like, well, what about Back to the Future? Oh, she doesn't get any credit for that. Okay, what about Gremlins? She doesn't get any credit for that either. What about Schindler's List? She don't get no credit for that. Lost World? She don't get no credit for that either. But she gets all the blame for Kingdom of the Crystal Skull. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, she was executive producer on all the movies that I just told you, Darkstalker. All of them. Yeah, it's just how it works. I mean, that's possible, Dash. I'm not going to dispute that. Maybe she lost her touch. But then you have Lincoln in 2012. Warhorse 2011. War of the Worlds 2005, which I didn't hate. <clears throat> yeah, she's only a producer on Star Wars stuff, yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, I mean, <clears throat> if the executive producer is top dog, then she has way more movies under her belt than she does for producing Dark Stalker. That's what I'm saying. Like, yeah. Like, again, I'm not defending her. I don't have a, a dog in this fight. I just find it interesting. Well, you can blame her, Dark Soccer, for the failure of the, the trilogy. She is the head of Star Wars division. She's like the Kevin Feige of Star Wars. You know? Like, he's the Kevin Feige. He's like the, the, the leader of Marvel stuff, right? Kathleen Kennedy is the leader of Star Wars stuff. She's supposed to be the main person. So I absolutely blame her for the failure of the trilogy. That's her fault. How did you not think to make a cohesive story for three movies? How did you not do that? Pick one director, one vision, let and have at it. Why do different directors per movie was stupid. I mean, Lucas did the same thing. You could see the a big difference between Empire Strikes Back and Return of the Jedi. You know. Lucas did a similar thing. Um, but I then give her praise for Rogue One, which I consider one of the is one of my personal favorite Star Wars movies. I just love that story. I love that it ends so darkly. You know what I mean? Like there, I, I was expecting some bullshit. They didn't give me bullshit. This was a Disney movie in the Star Wars universe where everybody freaking dies. That is some heavy shit that I didn't expect from Disney. That was a suicide mission. 
Never expected Disney to do that. I thought that one of their in their first movies was going to be all campy and lovey-dovey and everything was going to be all right. And that they were not going to kill off characters like that. And then they turned around and did it. So I love Rogue One. And I, and, and I didn't hate Solo. Even though I realized that it, it wasn't what I wanted, but I didn't hate it. Mandalorian is a masterpiece for me. Absolute masterpiece. And now we're just going to get a ton of that stuff. And I can't wait. Uh, uh. Change category to just chatting. Nah, I gotta go anyway. Yeah, I gotta hop off. I was supposed to get off a little earlier anyway because I gotta take a shower. I guess I'll just go wash the stank off my body. Nah, electric, no. Yeah, it's always good talks, yeah. I like this stuff. We can all disagree. It's still, you know, be cool with each other. I'm fine if you don't agree with me. You're not going to hurt my feelings or nothing. Just don't go make a Reddit post, please. <laughs> when that stupid Reddit post came out, I was just like... Man, I was biting at the bit because, like, I wanted to just get in there and be like, what the frick are you talking about, you tinfoil hat wearing crazies? You know, like, gosh, damn. But I knew there was nothing to gain from that because those people didn't, they, they did not want to have a discussion. It was just, this is what they believed, and it's, you know... You're not going to win an you know, online argument, right? And then I didn't want to talk to chat about it. I didn't want to chat to you because then I was worried that some of you in chat, bless your hearts, would want to go over to Reddit and defend me. How dare you? That's a, that's a lie right there. You're lying about what you said about Burke. Nah, 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 nah. I knew some of you would want to do that, and I didn't want to do that either. Because the problem being is that at that point, all they they would it would it would only serve to yeah white knighting yeah it would only serve to like shore up their defenses more. They wouldn't listen to you. They would just downvote you into oblivion and say, "Look, Burke's sending his fanboys to go brigade for him to go defend him." Hey, look at him! Look at him sending his his little nerds to come protect him. I knew that was what how that was gonna be perceived. So I didn't want to involve chat at all. And a matter of fact, I prefer you, that you don't do that. Because it's it's not... You don't have to waste time doing it. You don't have to defend me. Yeah, I, you, The only thing you have to do is show up and have a laugh. That's the only thing I expect from you. That's it. I don't even expect you to click on my sponsor links. <laughs> if you do, thank you. That's it. I just want to make sure that people are having a fun time and a good show. That's it. No, no. I'd rather... It, it's dead now. It's, it was a couple months ago. So don't bother going to hunt for it. And please don't comment on it. But I know a lot of you saw it. Because people were talking in chat the moment that I log on. We were like, oh, it works popular on Reddit. And I was like, oh, shit. <laughs> you saw that? Yeah, it was so, that was, I mean, there was so much bullshit said in that post, too. I had to respond to one person in that, in that, in that thread. One person. Because they were just blatantly lying. Berg blamed the devs of Hood when it was actually epic blocking. I was like, it's lit. All, all you had to do was the bare minimum of five lines in Reddit or Google and search to find out what the actual problem was. They couldn't be bothered to even look. They wouldn't even look. It was 
was right there in their FAQ. It said, <laughs> we have a problem. <laughs> uh. Right? Gosh, damn, that is such a problem with us as a society. We just run with shit. We don't look into anything. We just take the first thing we hear and just go with it. Oh, well. <sighs> um, that's it for me. I'm going to go to bed, chat. I got to get up early. Here, this is part of the sponsor, too. This. <laughs> yep, have a great night. You wild and crazy kids. I think in the world of all of you, thank you. Do I have music playing? Oh, I do. Look at that. All right. Yeah, I'll be back tonight. Uh, we're going to be doing Battlefield. Remember, we changed it. We're doing Battlefield tonight. Tonight. Man, I need to play Elder Scrolls as well. Good golly. So much I want to play. Y'all want to go to Japan? Let's go to Japan. Buckle up, chat. I'm taking you to Japan. Oh, we're going to Japan, baby. You ready for this? To Japan. Oh, why won't my inner key work? What the frick is going on? This is so weird. Uh, I could type, but it won't send it. Uh, hold on, let me click the button. Oh my gosh. I, I, what the frick is going on? I... Uh. Is Twitch dead? That, that wouldn't stop me. Gosh damn it. Hey, mod. Can a mod type? Shit, I don't even know if you can do it. Type. The, do, can you do a raid for retro? understand what's happening it works on my thing but I can't enter here I can't enter in there I don't know what the frick is going on hold on Okay. Oh, for his love of shit. Invalid parameters, my ass. Jeez, holy shit. Is it even doing it?
It's going. Oh, I can't kick it off to go. It won't. It won't. I, I can't see it. So it'll go when it goes. I guess I don't. I don't know when it's gonna go, but whatever. I guess when it takes off, it'll take off. Have a great night, chat. Y'all take care. I'll see you tonight. Same pirate channel and all that garbo. Okay. Bye and all that. Yeah. Hopefully you can watch a host. I don't know. Right, any day now, it's going to take y'all. Oh, come on. Oh, gosh. Is it gone yet? Still here, huh? Oh. Did it go? This is now hosting retro. Alright, we're good. <laughs>